An earlier video posted on our website demonstrated how you produce a letter using a mail merge on Microsoft Word. What this video does, it goes through the mail merge process again, but this time we're going to be producing a mailing label. Please enjoy the video. In a previous video, I demonstrated how you create a mail merge letter. What I want to do with this video is, is demonstrate how you create a mailing label going through a mail merge process. Now, before we can actually do the mail merge, I have to have a list of, inform a list of people's information that I'll use for the basis of doing the label. And I want you to see what that, it, what that file looks like. So I'm going to open the file up. I looked at this recently, so I'll click on the recent choice. I'll click on merge source. And this is going to show me the people's information I'll be using for doing a, a mail merge and producing a label this time. There are seven people in this table. And the table on the first row has information about their salutation, their first name, their last name, their street address, their city, their province, and their postal code. I'm not going to leave this file open. I want to close this off. I'm now back to a blank document. I now want to produce mailing labels for those seven people. So I'll go to the mailings tab above the ribbon. I'll click on the start mail merge button, the left hand side of the ribbon. I'm going to produce labels. And I'll be using an Avery US label 5160. Now you might be using a different one. You look at the packaging of your labels to figure out what label type you're using. I'll click on OK. And it'll create for me a blank sheet of labels. I'll then move across on the ribbon and click on Select Recipients. I want to use an existing list. It was the file that I just finished showing you at the start of this video. It takes me to a Select Data Source window. I've now got to navigate to find that file. It was called Merge Source. I'll open that up in the background. I don't actually see the file, but if I want to see the people's names, I go to Edit Recipient List up on the ribbon. And this shows me the seven people or the 500 people that were in that table. I'll click OK. And now I'm going to start building the actual label itself. I'll move across on the ribbon and click on the arrow part of Insert Merge Field. I'll click on Sal, which will eventually put in Mrs. or Mr. or Doctor, for example. I'll put a space in. I'll click on the arrow part again of Insert Merge Field and click on First, another space, Insert Merge Field, Last. I'll touch Enter on the keyboard to move to the next line of the label, Insert Merge Field again, Street to put their street address in, Enter again, Insert Merge Field, click on City, a comma, space, Insert Merge Field, Province, and I'll touch Enter and insert merge field and click on postal. Now you might notice here I've got a bit of a spacing issue with my with the contents of my label so I'm going to select all the rows of the label. I'm going to go back to the home tab. I'll go to the dialog box in the paragraph group and I'm going to change the spacing to be zero spacing before and zero spacing after. Yours might be a little bit different but I want to change the spacing back to zero spacing. I'll click OK and that takes it back. I now have less space between the parts of my of my label. I had to move away from the mailings tab. I'm now going to go back to the mailings tab and click. Now if I stop at this stage, I only get produce one label. What I need to do now is to update all the labels from the table that I showed you at the start of the video. So I move across and click on the button that says update labels. That puts some extra coding in and Microsoft Word now knows to produce a label for every person that was in that table. Now before I go any, before I actually finish this process off, I want to see what it looks like. So I'll click on preview results and it'll show me a preview as to what my seven labels would look like. Again, if I had 500 people on that table, I just would be seeing the 500 people. The process isn't actually finished at this stage. I've got to actually create a brand new document. So I'll move across on the ribbon and click on finish and merge. I'll click on edit individual documents. I want it to produce a label for all the people that were in that table. I'll click OK. And it produces for me a brand new document called Labels 2, and it has all the people's names on it. And at this stage, if I was satisfied with everything, I'd put my labels into my printer. I would go File and Print, and I would send them off to my printer. That's the process you go through in order to produce mailing labels. It's a great way to get a bunch of labels produced for people that are in a table in Microsoft Word. So I hope you can get the sense now how, how important mail merging is in Microsoft Word. It really helps you to be able to produce a lot of things like many letters, for example, to customers or, or acquaintances of yours, or produce labels like we just finished demonstrating in this video. 
Our website, www.joecomputertips.com, has a wide range of different videos helping you become more effective as you use Microsoft applications. Please visit our, our, our website on a regular basis. My name again is Joe Peterson. I hope that you enjoyed today's video on producing mailing labels using a mail merge and Microsoft Word.